Hey, welcome to the Weld School channel. Today we're gonna cover the Blue Demon uh, Blue Arc STI 200 DC machine. Uh, I did a review of the STI 200 ACDC machine and this is uh, a similar mach machine. We'll actually compare, talk about both of them. Uh, I'll go ahead and unpack this thing and then I'm actually gonna do a explanation of how you actually operate this machine and we'll throw a couple arc shots in there and uh, go from there. Check it out. All right, so we, we got the machine unpacked. This is the Blue Arc 200 STI DC machine. I put over here the Blue Arc 200 STI AC DC machine. I want to say it's the little brother of this machine, but it's the same output. It's still a 200 amp machine. It's a 110, 230 hookup. Uh, it came with a lot of the same components. So I don't know if I want to call it its little brother. I want to call it maybe, maybe the twin who didn't get uh, all the same talents or skills. So this thing you can see right here, it's got a, a lot more options, obviously because of AC, you have waveforms and things like that. Uh, this machine's a little bit more simple. Uh, you know, we still have our stick and TIG capabilities, uh, but we don't have all the advanced features. Uh, but overall, it looks like we still have uh, some different features. We have uh, a couple different pulse settings. It looks like just uh, straight DC, a high pulse and a low pulse. Uh, we have a uh, pedal option or basically just whatever you set the machine to. It does have some down slope. Uh, it's got your MMA, your stick and TIG, and it's got two T4T. Uh, it looks like we have just about the same setup in the front. Uh, so we have our DINs connectors, gas outlet, and then we have two remote controls here uh, for foot pedal and remote. On the back of the machine, same thing. We've got our cooling fan, we got our gas hookup, and our power uh, hookup here on and off. So very similar looking machine, uh, really lightweight. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and show you how to use this machine and run some beads and go from there. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do some stick welding. I have this thing hooked up on a 230 volt hookup. I have my stinger down here in the DC positive. I have my ground on DC negative. There's really not a whole lot to it. Make sure you select your MMA. Um, I have my current control here. Okay, so I'm gonna run probably, we'll go 6010 first, eighth inch. I don't know, somewhere, yeah, 90s, that's fine. And uh, I think I got everything else set up. It looks good. It shouldn't be much to it when you're, when you're stick welding. Uh, so let's go ahead and burn a couple rods and see what they look like. All right, I got a couple uh, T-welds tacked up here. Uh, got some 60 tons. We'll start out with that. I'll probably run some 332, 7018 around the same amperage. I'm, I'm down there in the low 90s. And then I'll jack it up and run some eighth inch 7018. Let's see how this thing performs. Uh, wow. Look at that. Just stacks dimes, no problem. Toes straight as could be. It kept a really uh, solid arc throughout. No interruptions. Uh, you know, I got a little bit of arc blow right at the end, but I mean, that can happen on any machine whatsoever. So uh, look at that. Just stacking dimes with this thing. So that's a 6010 whip pause technique. Let's go ahead and throw down a 6010, uh, just a stringer pass, no manipulation. Uh, 
That felt just as good as the last one. No arcing issues whatsoever. Get rid of some of that spatter. And there you have it. So 6010, straight pass. Still got some slag on there. 6010. Manipulation, little whip pause. Beautiful. All right, let's go ahead and run a little bit of the 7018. I was at 91, yeah, 91 amps. Uh, so I'm gonna run the 332 rod. That's a great amperage. And see what that looks like. Again, nice and smooth. No problem whatsoever, that's beautiful. Straight toes, uh, really smooth. All right, 332, let's jack it up and run the big boy. Well, a bigger boy, I wouldn't call that one the big boy. Go up to about 120 amps and run our eighth inch rod. My prediction, same as the last three beads. Amazing, look at this slag. Woo! Come on. I love it. Small machine, packing a good punch. Look at that. That's awesome. All right, so I have no complaints whatsoever with stick. Uh, really easy setup. Hook up your DINs connectors, put it on MMA, set your amperage, and burn rod. Let's do some TIG welding. All right, so we're all done with stick. We're testing out some TIG stuff here. With your setup, I got my ground over here, DC positive. I have my uh, TIG torch hooked up here. Now this is a little different than the uh, STI 200 ACDC where it's got the additional DINs connection over here. This time it's actually gonna flow its power uh, through your gas outlet. So a little bit different there. It does have the, the remote on the actual trigger. I'm gonna go ahead and use the foot pedal only. So I hooked up both controls down here uh, for the foot pedal, good stuff. Uh, we have slow pulse, high pulse, and then straight DC. We're going to go there in the straight DC. We're going to click TIG, and I want to make sure that I'm at 2T. And actually, I want to control that with my foot pedal. Uh, you can see that it zeroes out because I'm using the foot pedal. Okay, so what it's going to end up doing is I'm going to go ahead and control everything from my foot pedal there. If I want to adjust, I can use 2T or uh, 4T technically with my foot pedal if I go between these two as to what I want my uh, downslope to be. And it looks like it'll go from 1 to 10 seconds. I'm just going to want it on and off, and that's fine for now. I got my post flow set at like, I don't know, 8, eight to 10 seconds, which is fine. Uh, so if you get into the 4T, you're just going to have to touch the pedal multiple times to get to those different uh, ranges. Uh, but let's just keep it on 2T. I'm gonna have my down slope as, as low as it can go. I fire it up, it runs. I let go of the pedal, it turns off. I got my post flow going and I'm good to go. Stacking some dimes right there. Beautiful, aren't just smooth. A little machine packs a big punch. Uh, I guarantee I was at at least 165, 170 amps on that. I don't know how well you could see this in the camera. Let's go ahead and take our colder piece. Even though it's steel, I'm still gonna run some stainless rod on there. 
Like I said, we got the 309L Blue Demon 332 rod here. Let's see what that does. Wow. You're gonna like this one. Steel, stainless. Let's see what else it does. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do some pulse welding now. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip up, not once, but twice. We'll go to a low pulse. Uh, I'm gonna leave everything else the same. If I want, I mean, maybe I'll just do a little bit of a down slope here. I'm gonna still keep it on 2T and I'll keep my gas the same and uh, we'll give that a shot and then I'll come back and I'll jack it up to the uh, middle setting which is a higher pulse and see what that looks like. A little light lay wire pulse at a lower setting. We're gonna go ahead and flip that switch and do a higher pulses per second. A little bit of down slope on that. And that was a lot faster than I actually thought. Uh, you could hear it, it was really quiet. Uh, that was a slow one. You can see more of a ripple pattern. This one was so much faster. I could actually, uh, I, thought, I thought I would see a little bit more than that, but uh, so it's really high on that pulse. Uh, and that's great. That's got some benefits as well. Um, I'll put it on a uh, 4T. Yeah, maybe we'll turn. I guess we can keep that high pulse on. And we'll do one more setting. We'll turn it on 2T. We're going to put the machine instead of pedal and turn the pulse off, see what we get here. And there you have it. So that one was probably a little bit too high. I probably wanna turn down the amperage on that one. Uh, but you know, once you get it into that machine setting, then once you hit that pedal or you hit the trigger on the button, you're gonna get full bore, whatever you set it at, uh, which is great when you're doing repetitious welds that you know exactly what you need. So that would be machine. I got it on 2T, I could turn that down slope off. Uh, TIG. All right, the results are in, 60-10. 7018s, some stainless TIG, some steel TIG, a little bit of pulse, a little bit of dabbing, high pulse, low pulse. All from that little guy right here, Blue Arc 200 STI DC.